Welcome to this quick webinar. My name is Mike Wood. I'm going to be your mentor and instructor here. We are going to talk today about using your blog on the eMentor Build platform. This is a uh, souped up uh, um, WordPress platform. And so when you log into your builder, you should have uh, something that looks similar to this here, and you'll have the webinars right here in the middle of the page that teach you how to go in and use the builder. If you don't see these webinars right here, just come up to the top right where it says Screen Options, and click on that and make sure that that Welcome is checked, and that will uh, display these webinars. Now once you're ready to start on your blog, that's all done through this Posts section over here on the left. And so you just hover over that Posts, and it opens up this Flyout menu. That's called a Flyout menu, where it opens up like that. And we can go look at all our posts here. We can add a new post here. We can create categories within our blog if we want, or we can look at the tags. Most, uh, most of what you're going to do here is just looking at posts and adding new. Now I want to also show you, if we go to All Posts, there is another option to create a new post. So you'll see right here, we have a post right here, and we can edit that, we can do a quick edit, we can trash it, or we can view it. Um, incidentally, if you click on the title of the post, that does the same thing as edit. So either way, you'll get into the edit screen. But up here at the top, notice we have Add New. And so we can go again and add a new post. So that is how you will create a post on your site. Let's dive in and, and go ahead and walk you through how to create a blog post. I would suggest having all of your blog content saved in your Google Drive. And when you open that up, we'll have the document here. Now this is a great title actually to have for a blog uh, post. Anything with a list, 10 benefits, 7 things, five top must-haves or whatever. You know, if you, you do a list type titles, that is something that psychologically draws people in. And, and so it's a great way to start uh, a blog. So we're going to start with that title right there. And we'll copy that and paste that into our title right over here. Now, one of the things we need to look at is what our keyword is. What is our target keyword phrase? And so most people aren't going to search 10 benefits of music education for students, but they might search benefits of music education or music education for students or benefits of music education for students. Uh, so those, whatever your keyword phrase is, make sure that that is a part of your title. That is really important. And so we paste our title in, and then we can come down here to put our content in there. This title will automatically create our permalink, or our URL, which will be a keyword-rich URL. And that title will also automatically become our H1 tag, or our header tag, on our blog page. So you don't have to create a separate header tag for the blog page. So if we uh, start by highlighting the top of our content and then come down, scroll to the bottom of the content, we can hold the Shift key on our keyboard and then click at the end of the content and it highlights everything. So highlight a little section or click at the beginning, scroll to the bottom, hold Shift. You don't hold Shift until after you've scrolled to the bottom. Hold Shift and then after clicking Shift, click at the end of your content. It highlights everything like you see here. We'll right click on that and copy, or you can use shortcut keys if you know how to do that. And then we come over here and right click and oh, we should have a paste. Why do we don't why do we not have a paste? Alright. Maybe it didn't like that. Copy. Try that with shortcut keys and see if it'll do it. There we go. Control C, Control V will do it for us. So there we are with our content put into our page. Now, if we want to put in a, a link to to an affiliate offer or a link to a product, a dropship product on our site, uh, anything like that, 
we can put that link in here. We can either link it, let's say we have a language skills course, for example, that we're promoting. We can highlight that right there, those words, and come up here to this insert edit link icon in the toolbar, and we can click that and post our link that we want. And when we click on that, we'll go ahead and pull it up, it's going to give you a section here where it says paste URL or type to search. So we could put our URL in there and then click this little apply arrow and that will make that a link. Now I'm not ready to make that a link here so I'm just going to click out of it and so then no link was created. But that's how you could create a link in there. It's also a good idea to put some images throughout and that's something that you can do multiple images so on each of these bullet points for example we could put an image and so if we had an image for language skills that we wanted to put in here we could uh, enter down and, and one easy way to do this if I press enter right there it's going to move that two down to three and create another another two I don't necessarily want to do that I just want to post an image in here and so what we could do, and we could put the image up at the top, but what we want to do to avoid that formatting carrying on with that little uh, numbered um, row there is we hold shift and then press enter. So shift, enter, that'll give us a, a row directly under number one that does not have the bullet points. And so it's just following the number one bullet point. And then I can go up to this add media and we can find an image that we want from our gallery or we can upload a new image and so we can come in here and I don't know what uh, might be good for for this one but uh, you can always change it to, of course but let's just say that we want to put in uh, an emotional image here uh, uh, like this for example so you know with a person all right. Now this uh, title right here is the, the title of the image. Your image really should be named when you upload these. They should carry a name that correlates to the keyword for the product or for your blog post. So if your images on your products don't do that, I would recommend downloading them, changing the, uh, the name of the image, the file name, and then make the title that same thing. So I forget what this uh, bullet point was, language skills. <clears throat> so if we wanted this to be related to language skills, then we'd type that in. Um, same thing up here, the alt text should carry that content. And so we put the same thing in the alt text. We don't need to worry about the caption. And then insert into post. And that will put our image in here. Now if we click on the image, we have the ability to edit it, to change how it shows in the content. Uh, this no alignment means that it will just leave text above and below, and then the image takes up a whole row. If we were to do this align uh, to the right, the image would be over on the right with text running down on the left side next to it. And so you've got these different options of, uh, of aligning that. You can also come up here and we can say, hey, put that in the center of my page. And so then the image goes to the center of the page. And then on this edit right here, we can come in and change the size of the image. So if we wanted to do a full size instead of the small, we could change that to its full size. And so that way <clears throat> we have all those details there. There is also a advanced options here to edit, image title attributes, um, we don't need any of that. Um, edit original will take us back to uh, kind of what we saw before. So what I'm checking for is just to see if we have an option to change the name of the file. We do not have that option to change the file name in here. So we just click update on that. It will make it a little bigger image for us there. And then again, if we want to play around with this and see how it looks with text running down the side, we could do that and um, work with different things. See, that just puts it next to this number two. So we can uh, adjust that however we want. And if we don't want that showing with number two here, we could click and drag that right up here to the side of number one and put it there. So 
you can move that wherever you want to um, to adjust things there. I don't like how that uh, ended up there, so I press Control Z, and that will undo my last action, which will put it back down here. If I press Control Z again, that'll put it back to where it was. So it just each Control Z will undo the next previous action. So that's how you can create a blog uh, post uh, there. That's what it. Uh, that's the start of what it should look like. Again, you can create the links as I showed in the beginning. Uh, you can put multiple images. I think it's a good idea to have multiple images, especially when you're doing a bullet point page like this, 10 different things. It would be good to have a, an image correlated to each one of those things. And then if you wanted to link any of those images, you could link them if you wanted to, to link them to products or link them to uh, skills courses or any affiliate offer that you're promoting, then you can do that. When you highlight that image, as this one is, you can see that it's highlighted based on the little boxes surrounding it. Then we could come up and insert edit link and put that link in there. Once we're done with our content, we can just click publish over here on the right and that will Put, when you click publish, that makes the content live on your website. That posts it as a live post on your website. So if we were to go to this link right here, so our domain name.com slash blog slash title, 10 benefits of music education for students. So if we click that, and I'll just right click and open a new tab so we can keep the editor open. We click that, it's going to open up to our blog page. So we can see the URL up here at the top with the blog and then forward slash for the, the content. And so then we've got our content here, our title on the blog, and down below we have all of our um, information with our image showing up, and then if we had any links in there, they would show up as well. Now, incidentally, on this uh, um, blog post, I I kind of like to bring the post right up. So instead of having this big section up here, we can shrink that. So if we go up here to edit with Elementor, blog post layout one, which is the, the page that we're looking at, the single page. <clears throat> so we can edit that. And if you see a message like that, just click got it. And that should, all right. And so if we want to edit this section, and make this, shrink this basically so it's not taking up so much room. We can click on that section right there. So content width, minimum height right here. So we've got 500 on the height. I think that's way too big. I'm going to shrink that right down to maybe um, wherever it looks good. So right around 200 I think looks good. So we can actually put those numbers in there. So 200. There we've got our title. We've got our author name. We've got our author image right there. That looks nice and clean. I like that. And then like I say, this will become our H1 tag. So we don't need to add another tag in there. Um, and that's something that we could edit as well. We could drag that across the page uh, uh, or change you know, the style and everything over here, the, the advanced details. But I think that looks fine. So we'll click update on that. <clears throat> I went through a little extra, I think, here on doing the blog, but it helps you to really um, finalize that blog post. Now to get out of the Elementor, we come up to this little hamburger menu, click that, and then come down and click on exit to dashboard on that left-hand side. And that will take us back to our edit uh, template page. So now we want to go back to posts all posts so that we can see the posts that we created. And there's our post that we created. Notice it says uncategorized. So we can go in and change that to whatever category we want. We can add new categories here. These go into these uh, um, blog categories. So we can add categories and put that into a category we want. That's going to be much better than having an uncategorized section. <coughs> You can have uncategorized if you want to. If you just want to leave, uh, you know, have 
primary things or something, you could rename this uncategorized. So I just clicked on categories here. We could rename that to primary or um, you know, basic skills or general or whatever we want to call it that feels like it would be consistent with our content. So that is how you create a blog post in the eMentor Build platform.